Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics. In this DCS AH64D video, we'll discuss sending and receiving attack results over the data link for better coordination between flight members. Once the battle is over, the flight lead can collect BDA reports or battle damage assessments. As you probably noticed, each time you fire a missile, a green X appears on the FCR page and on the TSD if you have it set to the attack pace. These represent target locations that have engaged with missiles, which you can then review on the TSD shot page. It's important to understand that these reports only indicate that the missile has been fired at a target. It does not indicate if the target was actually destroyed. In the second half of this video, we'll discuss how to set FCR contacts as target points and ways to slay the TSD to an FCR identified target. Let's get started. Okay, so before we start talking about BDA reports, shot symbols, and converting SCR targets to target points, we'll first need to engage some targets. So first, let's go ahead and arm up the aircraft, and I'm going to zoom into the left MPD. And remember, if we select the FCR page with the button here, that does not automatically set the FCR as the site. Very different. To set the FCR as the site, we have to use the site select switch. And that's located on the collective with the front seat with the uh, co-pilot gunner, but also in the back seat with the pilot, and also on the TDAC with the front seat as well. So let's go ahead and go left on the site select switch. And now we can see in the high action display of the HAD, we see FCR. On the TSD, you can see that the phase automatically defaults to the nav phase. Let's go ahead and set that to attack. So that way we can see more than just 16 targets. Back on the SCR, let's do a single burst scan and see what's out there. Okay, so we got our next to shoot, our NTS is pretty far out there to the right, but we have a uh, ADU unit kind of lined up ahead of us, indicated by the large triangle or alternate next to shoot or ants. So let's go ahead and cycle to that one as our second priority. Okay, that's set, but we can see that the next to shoot is segmented, indicating that we need to action Hellfire by going right on the WAS switch. Solid symbol. Rifle. Now, another way we can select targets through the FCR page with cursor is by directly moving the cursor over a symbol, say this tracked vehicle here. Press and release the cursor switch. And now we've made that our next to shoot. Rifle. Now, since the release of the FCR, probably one of the biggest questions I have is, well, if I engage with the FCR, how can I slave the TADS to it to see whether or not the target was destroyed? And there's three ways you can do this. Uh, the easiest way upcoming will be using the link function, but that's coming a bit later. Uh, the first is using the cursor acquisition or CAC. Sounds like a dirty word. Let's go ahead and move my cursor over to the TSD and see how that works. Okay, so I'm going to select CAC on the right side. Now I'm going to move the cursor over this first target I engage, indicated by the green X. Press and release the cursor switch. And you can see at the acquisition source, it's now T50. Again, my current site is SCR, but I need to switch this to the TADS now. So I'm going to go right on the site select switch. Now we can see it's TADS. And now we hit the slave button. And it's going to slave the TADS to the acquisition source. Boom. Let's zoom in. Got it. I'm going to adjust my level a little bit. Okay, let's do this again, but this time for that track vehicle being engaged. So back to CAC mode. I'm going to move it over that vehicle with a green X over it. Press and release the cursor switch. Slave. And it's dead. Okay, de-slave. Got a couple uh, laser hellfires. Let's use those now. Okay, 
One more. Okay, four shots out. And we look at the SCR, we can see those four green X's. And on the TSD, same thing, four green X's. But we can see more information about the shots as well by going to the chord page, then shot. And now we can see those four shots. So the first one was against an ADU, or an air defense unit, indicated by the yellow triangle with an RF, radio frequency hellfire. At this time, from us, own. It was from a, a data link target, one of our wingmen, you see DL. The second shot was against that track vehicle. Again, Raider Hellfire at that time from us at that coordinate. And then three and four, those were both the engagements when I used the TADS. So the TADS, of course, cannot determine what kind of vehicle it is. So that's why you had the square as an unknown vehicle. And Sal for semi-active laser from us. And like I said before, we can also have the option to see target uh, shot reports from other flight members. And those will be listed here as well. But if you want to remove those, you can always hit the delete button. Come back out to the map. And uh, data link uh, shot reports would also be seen here as green X's. But they wouldn't be as bright. They'd be a bit shadowed uh, to indicate that those were from a data link source. Now, we also have the option to send our own BDA shot reports. To do that, we go to Reports, BDA. We can hit All, so it send all of our shot reports and all the reports sent to us from other members. Or we can Own to send just our own uh, shot reports. So we hit Own. In this case, we'll send it to C2, Chaos12, and Send. Coming back out, we could also request. So Reports. BDA will switch message send to message request. Set to own. I'm going to request a shot report or BDA report from Chaos 1 2 and send. Come back out of that. Okay, let me uh, move my cursor back to my FCR page. We can see that the TADS is the site right now. I'm going to make SCR my site again. And now I'm going to talk about using SCR contacts to create uh, target points. So to do that, we're going to hit the TGT or target push tile here. We have two options. We can either send individual targets or send everything I detect all at once, which can be a bit overloading. But if you're in a hurry, that's certainly an option. But I'm going to use just one at a time. We can see that the first one I create is going to be T01 or target 01. To do that, I'm going to place the cursor over a target I want to set as a target point, which we'll see later. Say this uh, track vehicle here. Press and release. And we can see T01. Let's do T02. There's another track vehicle. And just one more of this wheeled vehicle up here. And come back out, go to cord, and we can see one, two, and three are the ones I just created. So I could use these later to come back to, to engage, I could send those to flight members, but I was referring earlier to a third way where you can slay the TAS to target, and this is what I was talking about. So for example, we could go uh, T01, we can see that T01 is our acquisition source. Let's make TADS our site. And slave to it and there it is so folks very much hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you next time thanks